What is going on everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day and welcome to a brand spanking new Team of the Season play review because from the League 1 Team of the Season we are going to be looking at the 92 rated Alexandra Lacazette. Now if you do enjoy this play review make sure to subscribe to the channel and I've never asked for a like amount this high before but if we can hit 40 likes on this video, that would be absolutely insane. The uh, initial player reviews that I've been doing each week have been getting around that, so if you could do it again, like I said, that would be absolutely awesome. But um, without any further ado, let's get stuck into the player review. So, uh, basic information for Lacazette stands at 5 foot 9 inches tall. 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves with high medium work rates. Price bonus between 80k and 1.5 million. You'll see I actually paid about 560k. He's going for a lot less than that now. He's about 475. Probably the biggest loss I've made out of all the reviews I've done uh, throughout the right team of the season. But um, getting into his base card and in-game stats is a 92 overall like I've already mentioned. Base card, 95 pace, 92 dribbling, 94 shooting, 88 passing, 85 physical and 43 defending. And his top 5 in-game, surprisingly, no. No 99s, but he has got 97 finishing, 95 acceleration, 95 sprint speed, 95 agility, and 95 positioning. Lots of 95s, and he's got tons and tons of traits and specialities. He's got the flare, speed dribbler, speedster, aerial threat dribbler, uh, free kick specialist, distance shooter, acrobat, clinical finisher, poacher, and complete forward. Now you can see the team we used him in. It's a bit of a hybrid between Syria and Ligon, and there's also team of the season Insigne in there. I'm hoping to get a play review on him out either later tonight. If not, it'll be tomorrow morning, definitely. But um, in the uh, five games that Lacazette played, for some reason it says he plays six. I don't know why. Uh, he went ahead and got nine goals. Not the best return for a 92 rated striker, but I must say, as we start to roll the clips now, the first game and a half, I really struggled with him more than anything. Because of the new patch in FIFA, I just couldn't get anything going. It wasn't because the card was bad. It was just me struggling to adapt to the new, uh, new update in FIFA. But uh, when we did get going with him, he was an absolute monster. Only a couple of negatives for me. His weak foot, although it was four star, didn't particularly convince me that it was that fantastic. His right foot was way, way, way better than his left. And at times, bizarrely, not always, it was only on an odd occasion, he felt a bit sluggish, which is really unusual because I've, I've used his regular card a couple of times and that feels really quick. And this card did feel very quick for the most part, but there's just a couple of occasions where he just didn't quite get going for me. But other than that, he is a fantastic card. His main... His main um, standout attribute for me. First time finishing, like one touch finishing, I've called it. He either seems to take a touch and put it in or finish it first time. And he does that better than any player I've used this year on FIFA. For some reason, his first time finishing just feels absolutely outstanding. He also scored a couple of goals from some, from some uh, really strange angles as well with some nice finishes. Uh, his movement and positioning were also fantastic. And uh, he's a very well-rounded striker, actually. It's got to be said, he's got 86 strength as well, partnered up with that pace, which makes him uh, pretty decent to everything that you want a striker to be good at. But um, overall, we're going to be giving him a 9.2 out of 10. I don't think he's quite as good as Griezmann's team of the season card, but I think he's better than the Benzema team of the season. So he's somewhere in the middle as far as the uh, the French team of the season strikers go. Like I say, his positioning and his movement are fantastic, and partnering that with his, his like, like I say, it's crazy how good his first touch and then his first time finishing is. Partnering that together means you're never going to be doing anything too bad with him. He's always going to be a solid striker, especially with the stats that he's got. But like I say, 9.2 out of 10. Not quite Griezmann, but a lot better than Benzema. Really fun card to use. And I think he's well worth the coins, especially as his price seems to be dropping quite a lot. But uh, like I say, Insigne play review hopefully out later tonight. I will speak to all in that video, lads. Have a good night. Nidge out. Yo, his niche plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe button to support the channel that keeps running. It takes one second, like it's free, it costs nothing. Peace.